Hello everyone, today we're checking out the new video generation model from Genmo AI Mochi One. This is the latest open source video generation model that's setting new standards. Released as a preview, Mochi One focuses on delivering high fidelity motion and strong prompt adherence, meaning it can accurately interpret your text prompts and convert them into smooth, photorealistic videos. As I have covered Genmo AI last year when the AI boom starting, it is good to see they are back into the AI video model race on the market. The Mochi One is the largest open source video generation model to date. Mochi One boasts a 10 billion parameter diffusion model built on the novel asymmetric diffusion transformer, ASIMDIT, architecture. This architecture allows for both high quality visual reasoning and smooth video generation. First up, let's check out the motion quality. Mochi One generates up to 5.4 second videos with fluidity and real-world motion dynamics. From hair simulations to fluid physics, the motion is impressively natural. This model pushes video generation closer to what we expect from real-world visuals, particularly with how it handles 30 frames per second. The smooth motion dynamics really make it stand out from previous models. For the resolution, currently the preview version generates videos in 480p, but Genmo has big plans to release an HD version soon, which will bring 720p resolution, even crisper visuals, and smoother motion. This will address minor issues like occasional distortions in high motion scenes, but it's already a remarkable leap forward in visual realism. Next is prompt adherence. Mochi One has exceptional alignment with text prompts. Whether it's creating a specific character or a detailed action sequence, the model ensures that the output sticks closely to the instructions. Genmo has even benchmarked this with automated metrics, showing impressive prompt fidelity that allows users to have precise control over their creations. This model architecture prioritizes visual reasoning, focusing on video generation while using a T5XXL language model to understand user prompts. It's designed for efficiency, which allows the model to generate high-quality videos without demanding excessive computational resources. Genmo's commitment to open-source development is a huge deal here. The Mochi One weights are available for download on platforms like Hugging Face, and the source code is accessible on GitHub. This open approach encourages innovation and allows developers and creators alike to experiment and fine-tune the model for various applications, from creative projects to research and video generation. But I guess you will ask, what about the hardware requirement? Well, this is a big snap for all open-source individual users, I think, because from their GitHub page, it mentioned, Mochi One requires at least four H100 GPUs to run efficiently. However, Genmo is actively inviting community contributions to optimize the model and reduce these hardware demands, making it more accessible to developers and creators. That means if you like open source local private AI, then either you have at least four NVIDIA H100 to processing the video generation with the current AI model, the release open source, or wait for other people to optimize it, trim it down. But I guess if this model trim it down, the FPS motion quality and quality overall wouldn't be the same. Alternatively, you can try it for free right now on their playground. Link in the video description. And let's check out few of the video generation examples that I did. Okay, first of all, you go to the Genmo AI website and you'll see this bright red button you can click to try out. As you can see from their title here, the best open source video generation models, it's already claimed as open source models for everyone. You can download it, run it on your own, or if you don't have GPU resources, you can run it on the Genmo official website. Here we can try that in their dashboard. Once you load into the dashboard, you'll have your previous creations from the My Creations tab. That's your own video feed from the past. As you can see, I have other videos that aren't recent, coming from last year when I tested Genmo AI. Those videos, as you can compare, are very different. These were from the good old days of the first generation of video AI models. As you can see, we were playing with stable video diffusion-like styles with few seconds of movement and very short time frames, and all the details were non-existent in those days. Sometimes, like this one with a close-up shot, it doesn't really show detail or ultra realism. I'm not lying, you can see the date is from 10 months ago when I started this YouTube channel talking about AI. Right here we have all these old video prompts. Comparing that to using the new video models from Genmo AI here, 
This first one uses jellyfish prompts and creates very smooth, very good motions, coherent motions of jellyfish swimming. I like Genmo AI's video models. When I bring this in, zooming into full screen, as you can see in my web browser right now, it's very smooth, almost like 30 FPS quality generated from the AI videos themselves. This is really awesome. We're seeing newer AI video models getting better and better. So there's no need to rush for one specific AI video model and set up your environment for that, hoping it can be used for production. Because with new AI models, we keep getting updates every single week right now. I just saw three new AI models released, and they're open source like Genmo. So I guess we don't have to set up everything and use only one AI video model. We should be observing which one works best for us. The second example here is a Moroccan woman drinking with motions, very smooth, although the lower cheek part in the first seconds looks a little awkward, but if we do video editing, we can cut this part out and start from here. That would be a good choice for this small motion video clip. The third one I like is the Tokyo Woman Street prompt. This looks different from what we saw in Sora. This is at nighttime, with other angles of the woman walking. The background is another Tokyo street, not only those corner streets that you saw in Sora and in the public discoveries. This one uses the same prompts but from another angle using Tokyo street backgrounds. It's very smooth, the walking motions are even faster than Sora, but of course the quality of the face detail and the people walking around is kind of blurry. This time it's okay because, as we've checked in the research paper and their blog post, this is a very low-resolution AI video model currently running at 480p for this base model. Hopefully, when we have the HD and 720p resolutions, that will get better, and I guess they will keep updating these models as well. There are a lot of other video examples here that they generated, and some are really nice. For example, this one. I like this spaceship traveling from space, going through that space tunnel from another galaxy-looking style, and stopping here. Suddenly it zooms out from the camera, and we see the whole picture of the Earth right there. That is really cool. I don't see any other video models able to do high FPS motions like this one, not to mention the coherent and consistent styles. A lot of DIT Diffusion Transformer models right now are able to do those coherent styles. So we are in the new generation of video models. We're looking for something else, not only about the coherent and consistent, we should be looking for high FPS or fast motions, or motions having good quality and reaching over all of your screen, rather than just like half a year ago when everyone was chasing consistency styles of Animate Diff and Comfy UI. That's something I see changing right now for AI video models in this market and industry. Another sample is very cool. It looks like movie scenes from this video clip. It looks very amazing that you see all the soldiers walking and feel alive, and we don't have doubts about the consistency anymore. Using the DIT video model now, I think we're looking for way higher resolutions, and maybe next year we'll be chasing video models. I guess that will be the trend, and catch up with real-world recording quality using 4K and even 8K, etc. So yeah, look at this one and check it out. This is the Genmo AI new video models, and I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.